can we just just not not do it like this? Just not like this, not again. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Careering Onwards with me, Mr. Grant 2 here with Bayern Munich and the final episode of the season and quite possibly our final episode in charge of the club because if we don't win the league today, we will be being sacked and even if we do, I think I'm probably going to see if we can go somewhere else if uh, we can at least get the league title here ticked off. Um, but yeah, this was last year. It wasn't fun. This is the situation we find ourselves in now. Four points clear with three games to go. Dortmund are out of it. They can't win realistically anyway unless where there's a massive colossal swing of goal difference as we are 22 goals clear of them so they're not going to win the league this year but Mönchengladbach absolutely can they are only four points behind us of course the team who we managed for one season and led to second place it was well quite a long time ago now but it was their highest league finish ever they're on to match that for the first time in the save and potentially win the Bundesliga for the first time in a very, very long time. But we want to stop them because, as much as it would, I'd love to see them win the league at some point, um, not when we're in charge of the only team that uh, that can uh, can win it instead of them. So it comes down to this we've got three games left, two at home, which is good, and I feel it's better than last year. I'm pretty sure it was the other way around, indeed. Yeah, two away games and one home game last year. Yeah, so last year, two away games sandwiching a home game. No Stuttgart in sight. We are having to play Hoffenheim, though, away from home, which is unfortunate. But two home games, Mainz and the Fortuna Dusseldorf. Win against Mainz here today would be very good indeed. Dortmund, uh, well, they're not really in the conversation, but they're against Hamburg. Mönchengladbach not playing till the Sunday. Dortmund do win, but yeah, pretty much, hopefully, anyway, irrelevant, unless we get smashed 10-0. Now, that, that looked, that, to me, if we just go back, yep, five games in a row which Mainz have lost. They are already relegated from the Bundesliga. That's been confirmed. So this is only going to go one way, isn't it? We, we all know what's about to happen. The team for this one is going to be the team as in last episode two. Of course, Tony Sutherland is injured. He's out for three weeks, which will be the rest of the season, conveniently. But everybody else is here. Raul is going to be in goal. Rafinha, Retta, Song and Moraldi, the defence. Falkenberg, Jack and Bibby in the middle of the park with Hens on the left-hand side. He's done well since coming in. Chiralibus on the right-hand side with Sanchez up front. And, well, that's I mean that's maybe the only question mark. He's not scored recently. Do we put in Wreckers for a big game? I'm going to go with Wreckers. It's a risk, but it's not, it's not a massive risk, really. But that's what we're going to go with at home. Then, to start off proceedings, if we can win this one, then we are looking very 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 good lose this one and we I um, might as well just resign All right how good is their striker diesel horst um he's got he's relatively good attributes what's he got uh, he's got three goals so far this season when what, what can we see his recent form when was the last time he scored can't really see his recent form i reckon he's about 20 games without scoring and he'll score today but i expect nothing but a win from this come on do not do what he did against stuttgart do not do what he did last season please please can we just win i didn't think it would be this easy this this difficult to win the bundesliga with bayern munich but the bundesliga this year is just it's a challenge whoever you're managing i said last time that drawing all of our remaining games would be enough to win the league that wasn't true that was not true um with the it was it was mike's coming forward but we've won it back bibby Goes back to Falkenberg. A big ball for him needed. We find Rafinha across. And Shiralabu skies it. This, that was a good chance. We've dominated. Absolutely dominated. That's the only thing we've seen, though. And at halftime, the easiest game we've got so far this season. Far from pleased with what I've seen. One highlight, and it was blazing a shot over. We've got to go attacking. And can, the goalkeeper's having a brilliant game. So is the right back, which you'd love to see. They've already been relegated. Just give us the title, please. I know probably most teams in Germany hate Bayern Munich because of their general unquestioned dominance, but um, you know, but I'm lovable, aren't I? Yeah, for for my sake, give it to me. All right? Can we build something here? Fifty-five minutes gone. We've seen two pretty poor efforts. Chiralibus out to Rafinha. Hens goes back to him for some reason. Wreckers can't get there. Can't get there. Still can't get there. He's had about 15 goes there, and he's still not scored. 
and I think actually he's just going to come off for that one because I'm sorry, but he he did everything he could to just kick it straight at the defender, which is not the aim of the game. We're not playing dodgeball or something here. It's football. Jaralabus going inside. Hens is there. He's not. He's not scored. Please, can we just not do this? We've we've had nine shots on target. We've had two clear cut chances apparently. And yet no goals to show for it. Hens is playing badly. We'll bring on Salhi for a rare, rare appearance. Jack is also playing pretty poorly too. I think it's time for Stojkovic. Bring on some of the kids. I need to say bring on some of the regens. I and mean, we're taking off regens at this stage. Stojkovic has got a free kick. He's lining up. Can he make himself a Bayern legend? No. No, he can't. I mean, this is it's obviously better that we don't lose it, but... That we don't beat Mainz at home when they've already been relegated is bad. And we've still got to play Hoffenheim. It is bad. Ten minutes to go. Why are we so rubbish? Why, why when it really, truly matters, are we just rubbish? What am I supposed to do? They've had no shots at all. And yet, this is the situation that we're in. There's four minutes left. We, we've had 13 shots on target. We've had two clear-cut chances. I guess that's the problem, really. We're not actually making many chances. Stojkovic in. We've scored. He's offside. Sanchez is offside, apparently. There's a clear offside. We're not going to see it again. We've got another chance. They've, they've got the ball. Please don't, don't do that. There's something so stupid as that. Bibi through the middle. Chiralabus has scored. Christos Chiralabus, we're not even watching the... We're going straight back to balance. Christos Chiralabus, who didn't play much last season. He's taken over from Albal this year because Albal's been really poor. And in the rain here at Munich, brilliant finish from Christos Chiralabus. It really is. And that might be the goal that wins us the Bundesliga. It might be. Let's just hold on. They've offered nothing and it would be a travesty if we hadn't won that game when you look at those stats but we do win it just Bayern Munich 1 Mainz 0, I am going to tell them that was a bit of a let off um, Rett is confused and demotivated mate, did you see what happened in that game? Did you? Um, I'll, I'll tell him he was fine he's switched off instead, ok well just, let's just go right there we go. 32 matches played. We've got two games to play. Mönchengladbach, of course, still have their game in hand, but we are seven points clear at the moment. If they fail to win their game tomorrow, then we will be champions. But we are in... Well, we're well in control. And here we go. Stuttgart, of all teams, the team, the team that beat us at home a few weeks ago, the team that cost us the title last season on the final day, could be the team that hand us it here today. They are at home against Mönchengladbach. If Mönchengladbach lose, we are champions. I think if they draw, what would it be? They'd be if, if they draw, we'd be six points clear, wouldn't we? So given our goal difference, realistically it would be done, but it wouldn't be officially confirmed yet. But if they win, we go on to the next game. What will happen? And well, okay, we don't see the result, but we know the result. They must have lost because we have been declared as Bundesliga champions and we have won our first league title outside of England. Well, there we go. The board are delighted with winning silverware. I mean, you, you had me in the boardroom a couple of weeks ago telling me off because we, we hadn't challenged for silverware and now you're apparently now you're pleased that we've won some. What are you on about? Carl, you absolute moron. Do you not see that we were top of the league? Anyway, well, we won the Bundesliga. We've done it. That was a bit of an anti-climax. We don't even know what happened in the Munchen Gladbach game. They lost 3-1 to Stuttgart. <laughs> they lost 3-1. That is fantastic. That is Stuttgart that did it for us. Oh, I mean, it would have been nice if we'd just done it by winning a game, but at least, at least it's done. That is the most important thing. We could have put it at the end of the previous episode. That would have been easier from a from an editing perspective. But, well, it's, with two games to spare, it doesn't go to the final day. We have done it. We are champions. It should not have been that hard to win the Bundesliga with Bayern Munich. But 
there we go there we go and well there's not really much point in playing the last two games they're now completely and utterly meaningless but then I want to go through the end of season stuff today see the sort of situations we find ourselves in we've obviously got the Nations League coming up with England so we could just go straight ahead to that but I think we'll we'll go to the end of season stuff we want to make sure this is all officially sealed off and confirmed so what we'll do is um, we're not going to play the Hoffenheim game or the or the Dusseldorf game um, I think we'll, we'll, I'll bring you the goals at least from the Hoffenheim game, probably from both actually, um, but that'll, that'll be it, just the goals, and uh, then we'll, we'll go through the end of season stuff. Oh, it's just nice to finally have the pressure off for the first time in two seasons. We, we've done it, we've won it, and uh, my good friend Stales back in here says that I'm overrated having just won the Bundesliga, um, I, you know, I, he's, 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 I'm overrated apparently despite the fact that I've won three Champions Leagues and the World Cup. Now, now Sale, how many trophies have you won? He's actually won quite a few, if I remember correctly. He's won the Europa League with Hoffenheim, Euro Cup 2 with Roma, and then he's won lots of stuff in, in Denmark. So, not quite on the same level, really, are you, Snail? Right, we got, we got a, you know, it's a celebration time. Two games to just, just a, a victory lap, all that sort of stuff. We've done what we set out to do, what was expected of us, what was far harder than it should be, but we are champions let's just revel in it and yeah like i say the goals from this one then the goals from Dusseldorf, and then we'll see the end of season stuff all that sort of um you know awards goodness are we going to win the manager of the year award probably probably not it's probably gonna be the munch and guy which is fair enough really and it seems that we are now playing with the freedom and confidence that being champions gives us as and we we didn't even obviously like win it ourselves we won it because munch and lost but bibby who's done very little in recent games, opens the scoring. Or maybe not, because we're 60 minutes in and then they've equalised. Uh, David Gandini has scored his first goal of the season, so it's a, it's a good job Good job we, uh, we, we already wrapped it up. And uh, that's the way it ended, and it's doing this thing, so, I mean, they've given us the trophy officially, officially today, because I don't... Like, this is our first game after it was confirmed. I'd probably wait until the last day of the season when we're at home rather than a 1-1 draw away at Hoffenheim. But anyway, we also now officially will end the season as champions, but with fewer points than last season. Just really hammering home how, while well, yes, we absolutely should have won the league last year, we were insanely unlucky not to. All right, final game against Fortuna Dusseldorf, obviously completely meaningless, but I, actually we would have, if we hadn't lost at home... To Stuttgart of all teams, we if we avoid defeat in this one as well, we would have gone unbeaten all season, which would be pretty good. Um, instead, one defeat at least will be on the cards, and that was a pretty dull affair. Nil nil. We totally dominated the game. Again, good job we already wrapped things up because if it come down to that, then well it would have gone maybe a bit differently if we actually had to win it. But um, yeah, disappointing. But who really cares? It is done. I mentioned Gladbach actually losing to Schalke anyway, so uh, Dortmund finished second, and we end up winning the league by five points. But yeah, fewer points than last season when we when we didn't win it, but only one defeat as well. Stuttgart really, really costing us there, but hey, we've won the league. That is the main thing. Let's check out any sort of end of season awards, and we'll check out what's happening elsewhere too. Now, most of the other leagues still have uh, games to go, but the Premier League, which, uh, which we're looking at for posterity really, Liverpool are one point clear at Chelsea and they might not do it. This is going right down to the wire. Watford are in third. They're going to probably get in the Champions League, um, which is pretty good going for them. And yeah, that's it's, it's tight. Of course, what happens in the Premier League is always important for who gets sacked and then potentially gets a job, creates a job somewhere else. Real Madrid have won the league again in Spain, which means that Barcelona, who are still managed by Gustavo Alfaro, have not won the league now in eight years. He's 70 years old. He has not won the league in eight years. How he has still got his job, I have not got a clue. France, as you would probably expect, PSG, have won Neil Lennon just raking in the trophies. And Italy, it's AC Milan who have won Inter, who have pretty much dominated recently. Although Juventus Zebra did win last year. Um, Milan finishing far away down in fifth. So, potential jobs available there. 
And the Premier League is wrapped up and Liverpool, our former employers, of course, for five glorious years, have won the Premier League once again, the first time they've won it under Fernando Jairo. He's managed to hold on despite not winning it for two years, but then we were given that chance too. And good luck to him. Well done. Um, well done. And as a result of that, the Spurs job now available, which obviously we're not interested in, but potentially could bring in Pep Guardiola, who's in charge of Inter Milan. So that is potentially something opening up there. And good to see as well. DFB Pakal, Wolfsburg win on penalties, knocking Dortmund out, which is pretty fantastic. And they end up with nothing. Now, we're still waiting for everything else to finish. Um, Watford did finish in third. The Italian, French and Spanish leagues still have one game to win. And France is done now. Uh, PSG winning that one. But yeah, Italy and Spain to be wrapped up tomorrow. And then we'll look at how the jobs are going. Hopefully we get the uh, award stuff soon as well. All right, here we go. At least the, at least this is something. So, right, um, end of season awards. Falkenberg wins player of the season, which I think is fair enough. Um, Bibby, goal of the season. Sanchez signing of the season. And young player of the season, Falkenberg, as well. He is obviously our best player. That is for sure. And, uh, well, overall, very successful season in terms of at least we won the league. Um, would have been nice to win the cup too, but uh, K Sera Sera. Now, the club vision is what do they want next season? Just out of interest. Win the Bundesliga, as you would probably expect. Um, grow the club's reputation. Um, and that's it. They don't really want anything else. So that's actually not too bad. Um, because we would probably be, of course, expected to win the league. Um, but let's say we're going to do that one as well. Whether we're still here or not remains to be seen. Because obviously, while it would be it would be nice to win um, the DFB Pakal, I'm not fussed. Particularly, this isn't a glory hunter challenge. It's just sort of see how well we can do challenge and I want to win all the league titles everywhere we've won it in Germany now so not m massively fussed if we don't win the cup but then at the same time I wouldn't mind staying another year to have another go at it but it would be like we did at Liverpool sort of just to, I'll just show you when we're about to win a trophy if we do um, kind of thing rather than playing through the whole season in, in full detail again as we have been here for a couple of years now and we've done our main thing all right then all the major leagues are wrapped up apart from the relegation playoff type stuff let's see what is What's available? It's not quite as much as I was maybe hoping. Um, Marseille and Fiorentina are the only ones added in there. Is anyone really particularly insecure? Um, I mean, no. There's a lot of people that are stable, but no one really insecure. Um, I guess I guess it's just a sort of case of, of wait and see. We don't even have a national tournament, really, other than the Nations League, which could affect things. But, I mean, it's not ideal. It's It's not ideal, particularly. But, uh, but there we go. How I still cannot for the life of me understand. He's not even on this, is he? How on earth is the Barcelona manager still clinging on to his job? I mean, can you imagine in real life if the guy in charge of Barcelona had not won La Liga for eight years? Eight years. Why is he still in charge? He's not even... They got knocked out of the Champions League semi-final. He's not even got the cup to fall back on. I swear, actually, no, they did win the Copa del Rey. I, I'll take that back. But is that really enough for them to keep him? Is that really enough? He won the Liga once eight years ago, and he's done nothing else since other than a couple of Copa del Reys. How has he not been sacked? I really don't know. Maybe he'll retire. Although, no, he's got another year on his contract, so he's he's staying. He's staying. So once again, it doesn't really look like we're going to just be presented with an opportunity following someone sacking. It's, it feels like this This is every year, really. It's just We don't. We have to kind of either force it or we have to wait a bit later and see if someone gets offered a job and move and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, there we go then. And, uh, well, it was a success in the end. We did what we set out to do. We won the Bundesliga it was harder than it should be, but we did manage to do it. So we will be back next time, very shortly actually, for the Nations League with England. We have got France in the semi-final, of course. Can we win something with our with our home nation? That would be good if we could do that. And then it will be next season. And I think, yeah, like I said, we will we will just be back. We'll be back for the start of the season. See if we can win the Super Cup again, but otherwise, yeah, if we're still at Bayern Munich, um, it will just be a couple of episodes. Can we win something? Can we win the DFB Pokal? That'll be the main thing, really. And also try and retain the league title as well if we are indeed still here. Otherwise, well, 
we will see where we end up. But that is for next time. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe as well. So you don't miss what happens next. It really is a mystery. I mean, you know, the Nations League, we know that's happening next. But after that, I have no idea what is going to happen at all. And that's part of the fun of it. But thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.